Heretics ahead of time. The 60s were a time of preparation. They held your initial awakening and were a time that showed you that new paradigms could be born. During that decade, you suddenly became far removed from the values of the previous generations. The 60s were full of events, such as the movement for peace and the movement for expression of the body, which supported looking at the body and accepting and sharing sexuality with full consciousness, with clothes off, rather than by finding body parts between layers of clothes, which is what the generation before did. Consciousness was birthed, and the idea of peace and freedom was awakened. That was kindergarten. The 90s are the time to bring the movement of spirituality onto the planet not just in small pockets, but onto the entire planet. The planet is awakening all over. We travel the planet and can tell you that you have your counterparts in every corner of the globe. The team of light that you represent made sure that they covered all their bases, because there are lightworkers everywhere. You are coming into your own. The movement towards spirituality is a movement away from materialism. Over the last number of years, many people have gotten very into their bodies, regenerating them, exercising them, and making them more beautiful. That has simply been preparation so that you could move into spirit. The realm of spirit is a very exciting place. It has more flexibility, there are places to travel and great adventures to be had, and there are no limitations. The reason physical reality has been so frustrating for you is because you bought the stories about its limitations hook, line, and sinker. You bought them because you had made an agreement to do so. It was part of your plan to buy into these limitations so that you could relate to those who have no idea about light and who have been buying into the limitations for their whole existence. You are going to electromagnetically alter the planet rewire it, so to speak so that all of these other beings can be plugged in once again. You can only do this if you can relate to where they are. If you had come here with your memory banks open, either you would not have wanted to stay or you would not now understand the others. So you have been submerged in a society that has been without light, and you have forgotten your light, or vaguely remembered it as you grew up, so that you could relate to that world. Now it is time for you to integrate that world of society into the multidimensional world of light and spirit you represent so that the values and designs of this planet will begin to change completely. Heretics are ahead of their time. The heretical ideas that come onto the planet always prove to be brilliant later. So have courage, it only seems as if these new ideas are being ridiculed. You must remember that there is much activity in the non-physical realms to assist you and that, even though each of you has your own blueprint and plan to evolve into, you are part of a global blueprint and a global consciousness. You are firing that global blueprint and awakening others. You awaken in waves as each of you learns to carry information and broadcast it. If everyone were awakened at once, it would be very chaotic. The awakening must happen as you are able to handle it, because putting too much light into an element that cannot handle it would blow a fuse. If the electrical currents are not matched up, the body can be destroyed. You will see this. You are going to see a disease move over the planet that has to do with the nervous system and memory because people won't be able to handle the energy. They will become frightened of it. They may discover a multidimensional portion of themselves and think they are crazy. Then they will be obsessed with keeping their insanity quiet. From their husband or wife or children. People will drive themselves into a frenzy with this energy because they won't understand it. We cannot emphasize enough that the nervous system is the key to open your ancient eyes and see, and for you to remember who you are, where you come from, and where you are going. The nervous system must be able to take the electrical current into the body, transduce the high energy and fit it inside the body, and let the body evolve and nurture itself on this high energy that is consciousness. This is literally what is occurring. It is as if you were to take a newborn babe and feed this babe a formula that would force it to grow from a day-old infant to a 30-year-old adult in one year. This parallels what will be happening for you over the next 20 years. That newborn child would become 30 in one year. Think about what that child would have to do and what its body would have to integrate to grow like that. Think about the organs, the functions, and the hormones. Since you are committed carriers of light, there is a certain opening within your auric field. There is an opening that the pillar of light brings so that guardians can come down and act as gatekeepers for how much energy you can handle. Even though your intellect, mind, and ego may say, more, 
more, more, the gatekeepers know that, because you are a carrier of light and have committed to a certain task, you cannot be lost. Unless, that is, you are bent on your own personal destruction and you move past what is called the highest will into the will of yourself. The nervous system, which is a highway within the body, can only move at the rate you can process the data flooding over it into the cells. Many of you are still cleaning out caverns within portions of your being that have been filled with darkness. These caverns may be from this lifetime they may go back to childhood or for some of you they may be from other lifetimes. Many of you have been on this journey for 25 or 30 years, while others of you have newly joined the journey. Not everyone is going to take the same amount of time. Those who have been plodding along for 30 years are way showers. You set up a vibrational frequency that those of you who are new joiners can feel. You who are new joiners don't have to go looking for the new frequency and discover it. The mapping is done, and the mapping hits your body. You all need one another. It is imperative that you work in harmony. If you don't work in harmony, you will create Atlantis and all of the other destructions over and over again. Harmony is required. A time is coming when many of you will be put to work with spirit to broadcast frequency and assist others in comprehending what is going on. The waves of awakening will continue, and spirit will become a way of being on this planet. That is the plan for this planet, and the creative cosmic rays from Prime Creator are hitting the fringes of your galactic system, moving here first. That is why the great gathering of energies has come here. These energies want to participate in the transformation here so that they will be prepared when it comes to their own area of galactic and universal existence. There is a huge transformation taking place, but what you do with it, of course, is up to you. We have said that your world is going to split into two worlds and that those who move with light will be in the world of light. This split is already beginning to take place. Those entities who wish to work with the higher vibratory fields that represent light, and those who wish to work with the lower vibratory fields that represent fear, darkness, chaos, control, and confusion, are beginning to polarize and choose sides. Those who work with the lower vibratory fields will say to you that you are witches or the devil because you represent something that they don't understand. You represent change, and you must remember that most people are frightened to death of change. One of the curious things about human consciousness is that it is enamored of stability. You bought the concept that stability is something desirable hook, line, and sinker. So you strive for it, you think that if you do not have stability and security then who are you? You might not exist, you might be annihilated. We are talking about many people you know, some may even be family members. You will need to develop a tremendous amount of patience and compassion for those who feel this energy and do not want to respond to it in a way that can benefit them. You are going to have to become very allowing perhaps even allowing others to destroy themselves so that they can learn the value of life. Even though human beings are not consciously aware of it, you know in the deepest portion of your beings that you move from one existence to another and gather experience so that your soul can understand and process data to give you a view of one reality. Someday you will be able to scan the lives and existences of your soul and hold the energy of that soul just like you would hold a crystal, look at the different facets and sparkles within it, and feel and know that identity. When you are able to do this with your soul, your soul will be able to connect with other forms of intelligence that it is a part of but does not presently comprehend. We are stretching you, we want you to become completely confused so that you will be energized. Then you will utilize your curiosity to take you into areas that, not only have you never thought of, you never even knew existed. This is our intention, that you come to a higher ground where you can create a new order of identity courageously, with humor, and with confidence. All things are frequencies, if you knew how rapidly you are evolving, you might want to sit in a chair and put your hand over your head and say, I can't do it. There is too much going on for me. You keep the veil pulled down and pretend to go about life as if nothing is happening when you are continuously being upgraded with all kinds of changes to bring you closer to the higher dimensions. Think about and feel what you are going to achieve in one lifetime. Within the next 10 to 20 years, you will move from being dense physical creatures into creatures of light in the age of light. Can you conceive of this? Everything that you are doing, including eating a pizza, is bringing you in a divinely perfect way to that place. At some point you will understand the importance of every event in which you are participating and the integrity of the whole. 
In the movie The Karate Kid, the kid is very impatient while learning karate. He finds a master and doesn't even think he has found a master. He is given things to do that he thinks are a waste of time. He does not understand that each piece he learns makes up the greater whole. You are like this kid. All the pieces are coming together, but because of the vision of your ego, you do not understand at this time that they make the greater whole. You will be put to task, and you will find that all you are seeking will be yours. That is the good news. Be aware and learn how to recognize when your will is usurping the divine will and the divine plan. When you are forcing too much onto yourself because you are not operating out of common sense. Look at yourself in the mirror and see how you look. Look into your eyes because your eyes are an indicator for your whole physical body. Are they clear? Are you able to look back with clarity? Is your face lined, or exhausted, or calm? How does your body feel? Are you able to sit in a serene position? Are you able to hold your body erect, or do you feel the need to slump over? Do you fidget because you cannot hold the energy in your body, so your body is always dancing and twitching because it does not know what to do? Are your fingers always drumming, or are you gnawing at your flesh? There are many indications to watch for. You can look around and see who cannot integrate energy. Once you bring this energy into your body and are able to hold it, your body will begin to feel a lightness. There will be a vitality in your skin, or perhaps your hair. Your hair is a very good indication of your health. Common sense, of course, is one of your best comrades to hang around with. Common sense will show you what is right and what is not. At times you will recognize that the energy has become too much and that you are not calm and centered. This will occur for each and every one of you at some point. In some way, you will feel as if too much is happening. There will be too much data to compute, too many people to talk to, or too much going on. When this happens, you must think of yourself as an appliance and unplug yourself. Just like you are a toaster, simply unplug yourself so that you can be out of use. At those times, what you need to do more than anything else is rest. Some of you will need a tremendous amount of sleep at different points. Do not think you are getting lazy and beat up on yourself, simply acknowledge it. There will be times when some of you will wish to sleep 18 hours. Do it. It is necessary. You have no idea of the lands you travel to and the work done on your physical body when you sleep. It is the time when you are unplugged from this reality and recharged and taught in other realities. The bridges, and your eyes, will open between realities, and you will begin to see and carry these memories. When you go to a Chinese restaurant, you eat Chinese food, you don't order a hamburger. When you go to an Italian restaurant, you order lasagna. This restaurant called Earth has a physical body, so that is how you must operate here, within a physical body. We speak in very simple terms so that you will get our point. It doesn't make any difference how ridiculous our metaphor is, we simply want you to get it. So you are here in the restaurant of Earth, occupying an Earth body because this is what is available here. There is nothing else served here. You are going to bring new recipes into the Earth restaurant, recipes that periodically have been tested and proven true, but only in pockets here and there. Remember, Earth was sealed off eons ago. Earth was created to be one thing and then completely got off track after millions of years of existence. Many of you incarnated here over and over again and got really frustrated, because every time you incarnated you had an intention of doing something, but half the time you forgot what it was. Some of you were able to achieve mastery upon this planet and get yourselves off it through the ascension process. Others of you clamored that you wanted a time when this quarantine or seclusion from the rest of cosmic society would come to an end. Because of you and the multitudes that are upon this planet and surrounding this planet, the present time period was born. Assistance comes to you in all avenues of life, yet others cannot do things for you because you designed life in such a way that the species must self-motivate and evolve in order to be empowered. Those of you who are tremendously knowledgeable decided to incarnate in the species to empower it by being an example for the rest who cannot do it for themselves. You make new pathways of being as you broadcast who you are. When you gather in rooms for channelings, you ask for a tremendous number of reminders and a tremendous amount of encouragement along the way. Some of you are finding that you cannot make it without the encouragement. 
This is understood, it is why we are here, most of the time with tremendous patience, for you. We wish to give you the opportunity to claim who you are. One of the most important ultimate realities upon this planet for you as a species to understand, and one of the greatest challenges you have been faced with, is what it means to die. We can convince you of many things, but it is difficult for us to convince you that you do not have to die. In this time, you do not have to physically leave your body behind here upon this planet. Can you conceive of the idea that you will simply change the vibrational rate of your physical being and take your body with you because you will rearrange the molecular structure? Making the ascension leap and completing the journey here is possible for a multitude of the species upon this planet. Some of you have already ascended off this planet, and you have come back to do it again and to show the way. It was a grand journey to get out of here with the ascension process. It took lifetimes of training, one after another, to bring yourself to dedication. It involved not living in the material society and basically living very close to nature to do it. Now those of you who have done this and are familiar with it have come back. It is your goal to ascend off this planet and to be taken, literally, up into the higher cosmology of motherships. You will ascend into the cities of light and be able to dwell within the other realities that are all around you that you simply do not permit your third dimensional eyes to see. You will have completed your task on Earth, and Earth will make its transition. It will be a beautiful jewel in the universe. You may wish to stay for some years to help with the restructuring and rebuilding of this new Earth. But after a while, you will want to move on to new assignments to transform other worlds. Remember, you are renegades, and you like a very exciting time. So most likely you will leave this beautiful planet to others to enjoy, and you will go on to a new assignment. Ascension is the goal on this planet. There will come a time when that will be the only way people who live on this planet will depart from it. Once you get off this planet, you will go to many other places. You will show yourself and the rest of the species that the body, this thing that seems so solid and uncontrollable, is actually a result of a divine orchestration, and that you, in your consciousness, can do anything you want with it. Anything.